All right, so a while ago, I created this video right here where I talked about a bunch of advertising methods such as sponsoring, creating banner ads, and as well as free marketing. But since then, Roblox has completely changed sponsored ads, which is like majority of advertisements. And some of you has asked me to make a new video, so here I am. But if you're watching this video and you just wanted to know how to advertise for free or just how to create banner ads, make sure to check out that video. Should be linked up here. Otherwise, if you want to know how to do sponsored ads or kind of immersive ads, then keep on watching here. All right, so uh, when you're on your home page, what you want to do is press create up here and this should bring you to this little dashboard over here. And how it used to be is you used to be able to click on the thing and then over here it would say sponsor and advertise. This is how you create banner ads, but this sponsor thing is old now and it only allows you to see ads that you created in the past before this whole ads manager thing but you actually want to go back to experiences, click on ads, ads manager. This is where you manage and create all of your ads. Now, before you actually go over here and press create to create your ads, you got to click this and you got to go to, I'm pretty sure payment activity and you got to add payment method. You have to buy ad credits. Ad credits are basically the new way to buy ads. Uh, they completely got rid of the option to buy ads with robux but don't worry don't worry you still can buy ads technically with robux but you just gotta exchange it into ad credits one ad credit equals 285 robux or you can buy it with some sort of different method like your credit card or debit card or something like that now the thing that does honestly suck though is you have to buy a minimum of 10 ad credits to actually be able to get any ad credits at all and to actually be able to make an ad and that really sucks because that means you pretty much need a minimum of 2850 robux to actually be able to do that if you don't have that robux unfortunately you can't actually make ads using this method you will have to create ads using different methods like banner ads or the free advertising methods um, up on the screen right now though there should be some of my videos that you can go to and like at the end of this video there should be like a link to them and basically those videos will help you be able to get enough players to actually be able to get this initial amount of robux if you don't have it but if you do have it you're fine you can just get 10 ad credits one more thing uh you actually can't turn this ad credits back into robux that just doesn't work it's a one-way thing but that's all right because you will probably use it eventually even if you don't use it up all at once and if you don't have the robux uh make sure to keep watching this video though because you might do lose this in the future and it's good to know this stuff because this still does apply to like a bunch of other advertising stuff and I talk about, I don't know, like a whole consumer thing. I don't know, I go more in depth to like the type of audience that you should actually advertise to, which you kind of need for every sort of ad. But you want to click buy here, which I'm not going to do because I already have enough and I don't want any right now. And then you want to go to payment and then you want to go down here to manage ads. Manage ads, you have these three categories. Uh, they do nothing except show you your analytics for like your previous ads. I made a couple. Uh, I haven't really tested this out too much. And then there's like a whole bunch of stuff. But you really just want to click create. Oh, I don't know what Honey is doing here. Whatever, it looks like it's gone now. But you want to click create over here. And now that you press create, uh, it'll give you these three options right here. Visits, awareness, and video views. Um, actually... It's been the same day that I'm recording this video that they actually created this video views thing. It's like a whole immersive ads thing. I don't know. You can create like these ads within your game, 3D ads that actually play a video, which is pretty creepy because it's kind of like the mobile games. But awareness, this is also immersive ads and visits. This can be either immersive ads or sponsors, which is the one we're doing today. If you do want to learn how to put immersive ads into your game or buy immersive ads, then comment down below because I'd like to know that. Otherwise, I'm probably not going to make a video on it. So let me know. And right here is just your budget. And this is where you choose a bunch of your stuff. This is lifetime budget and this is daily budget. I usually use daily budget because that's how much ad credits you spend per day. While this lifetime budget right here is just like the ad credits you spend throughout this entire like advertising thing. But I feel like daily budget is better right now because I usually just put my ads for like a day or two. And you will have to put this a minimum five added credits and you'll have to have double your balance of whatever this is. So if I put like seven, it wouldn't work. 
because I don't have enough balance. So I'm just going to put five for now. I'm not actually going to make it add, but yeah. And here's the time. If you want it to start at like a later time, you can do that. But you got to make sure this is like a whole 24 hours before. And this right here is the date that it starts. Um, I know people usually advertise on Saturday or Sunday since those are the days that most people are playing. But honestly, I'd recommend you to advertise Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Monday, or Tuesday, the weekdays, because those days, there's not as much competition, so you're actually able to get more. Actually, uh, actually, that used to be how it was. Now it's a little bit different because of this whole ads manager. I guess it doesn't really matter too much, so I'm just going to leave it how it is. And this name right here does not matter at all. Put it to whatever you want. Only you can see this. And then when you're done that, you go next locations gender ages and devices and also all this stuff this stuff is quite important locations it's automatically set to all regions which i'm actually going to get rid of you don't actually want that uh since you're watching this video i'm going to assume that you speak english if you don't then sorry i don't know apply this to whatever language you speak you're probably watching with subtitles or whatever but this lets you choose the specifics um what i usually do is us canada uh i'm not sure about australia new zealand you can because they do speak English there and Eastern Europe sometimes depends though you could go for the uh, individual countries but there's also this restriction right here there's pretty much like some sort of law in Europe where you can't actually advertise to a specific gender between the ages of 13 17 or under because you literally can't advertise to under 13 at all now in the like entire world so some of you might not want to choose that so that you could be more specific here but I would since uh, since I feel like it's pretty good. Or you can like go here and choose some specific stuff like UK. That's like super English, so go ahead. And ages, let me give you some hints. Let me give you some tips. If you're trying to advertise to kids that are under 13, you no longer can, but you still kinda can because a bunch of kids lie about their ages. If you wanna do that, I would not advertise to this and advertise to only these two because people this age, I feel like are sometimes truthful about their age so they wouldn't say anything and i feel like this is a pretty good age group like it's a majority of roblox people this age i feel like they kind of tell the truth uh i kind of doubt you want 18 to 24 year olds to be playing a game 25 plus people lie about their age all the time and they always put it as something like super high like 6 9 or something like that so i would choose this and this and this right here honestly doesn't matter the smaller the number is it's actually better because it's a more specified group which is probably going to play your game and enjoy it more since you're still going to get the exact same amount of players now here these are the immersive ads i was talking about or there's sponsor experience which we're going to do uh this is like a whole thing like i said immersive ads comment down below if you want me to make a video on it, it like changes up everything here but sponsor experiences it is oh wow i didn't even know this you can't even advertise specific genres oh, that's cool all right but i know that this is actually pretty good that's what roblox says but you can choose a specific genre i feel like this honestly doesn't matter too much like all genre usually works and it's pretty good but you can like read these little descriptions here action adventure i'll be role playing uh i guess you can kind of imagine the type of people that play these games and if your game is similar to this i mean i guess this is pretty cool because i think they like look at the type of genres people play and then advertise it to them so it could be pretty good i'm just gonna put all genres and max bidding this is kind of the most important thing uh this is like the amount of money you want to spend per play cost per play and you can advertise what this is robux wise by taking this number and multiplying by 285 for example like this automatically thing right here it'll give me 14.25 which i think is absurd 14.25 robux per one single play is crazy but that's what they say is good uh i would not recommend doing that though winning bids i feel like i'm not 100 percent sure about the system and how it works but what i'm pretty sure a winning bid is is the more money you spend the more times your ad is shown and the higher up the page it is but it doesn't matter because if you actually take your total budget you put before like i put five and you divide it by the actual amount right here, this bid, it'll tell you approximately how many players you're gonna get since they will try to spend 100% of your budget. And if they don't, they will refund you, so it doesn't matter. So what I like to do is go as low as possible. 
uh, 0.01 is as low as you can go, can't put any more zeros, or 0.02 if for some reason you want to go a little bit higher. If you do the math right here, that's like 250 players, or if I did this, it's 500 players, so double, so I feel like this is a whole lot better. Uh, I like to do this because cost per play is basically like the most important thing in your entire ad. It doesn't matter if it's like not the top of the recommended page or whatever. You're still going to get the same amount of plays. So I don't see why anyone want to go higher unless they're like a massive corpor corporation or something. Another ad here. Uh, name. Doesn't matter. Don't do anything. You don't have to. Destination place. I'm just going to... A bunch of this stuff isn't even yours. Uh, try searching for your name if you know what it is. I don't know why I can even see all this stuff. I think it just may, might be like some stuff in some groups. Oh yeah, probably, probably. It's like some groups that let you uh, advertise. It's like a thing that they can enable. Whatever, I'm just going to choose this. It'll show you what your picture looks like. This is what people are going to have to click on. A little example here. Press X and name the ad. This also does not matter, you, only you can see it. Now this is like the finalizing. This is where you can look through everything, uh, see if it kind of like matches up with mine, if you think yours like the same genre. Yeah, that's basically it for Ads Manager.